Recently, there's been a shift in red squirrel activity. Our house is a meeting point for the red squirrels, and every morning we have several individuals visiting. They eat some sunflower seeds, and after 20 minutes, they go. So minimal confrontation, they eat, and then they leave. But this week has been different. It's been squirrel chaos. They've been chasing each other, some have been following each other, some have been ripping the bark off the tree, maybe out of frustration. And this is typical behaviour during the mating period. I've seen squirrels chase each other around trees before, but not this much. Yesterday I was having a bit of a meltdown because I just, for some reason, couldn't put this video together and we were sat in this room looking at my laptop and Juan had this idea of asking AI to generate like a video plan or a script for a Danny Connor Wilde video and we started it off with talking about the Red Squirrel mating season and I'm going to read to you what AI thinks I should have said, because it's hilarious. It's made this a bit of a story, but here we go. The sun is shining through the trees and the birds are singing. We see a group of squirrels gathering in a clearing. They are all chattering excitedly, and it is clear that something special is happening. Their tails twitching and their eyes bright. <laughs> It's that time of year again. The squirrels are starting their mating season. The squirrels are gathering in the clearing again, this time with the females in the center. The females will choose <laughs> The females will choose their mates and the lucky ones will start a family. We follow one of the squirrels as it scurries up a tree. It stops at the top and looks around. Suddenly, it spots another squirrel in a nearby tree. The two squirrels look at each other for a moment <laughs> before they start <laughs> before they start to mate. <laughs> the other squirrels in the clearing watch <laughs> watch in awe as the <laughs> the other squirrels in the clearing watch in awe as the two squirrels mate. After a few moments, the two squirrels separate and the female squirrel scurries away. And so the squirrels... <laughs> and so the squirrels start a new chapter in their lives, ready to take on the world. We follow the female squirrel as she runs through the forest. She stops at a tree and looks up. We see that the tree... <laughs> the tree is full of nuts and the female squirrel starts to <laughs> eat. We then cut back to the clearing where the other squirrels are still watching the mating ritual. <laughs> they all look content and happy, and it is clear that they are enjoying <laughs> the start of the squirrels' mating season. We see the two red squirrels scampering away together, clearly in love. <laughs> I walked downstairs this morning and realised it was super windy and my tent has disappeared. I walked round 
looked outside all the windows and I found it. It's actually only behind the house, but it has gone on a little bit of a journey. Um, so I need to put it back and secure it because by tomorrow it might be across the field. So the deer have massively messed up the snow and I'm going to attempt to uh, make it smooth and hopefully when it snows tonight or tomorrow I will have a fresh layer of snow and it will be super smooth and good for photography but at the moment it just looks horrible. I've just finished levelling the snow and it looks way better, at least now when the squirrels are on it, they don't disappear in dips of snow, so it's all smooth and levelled. And then when there's fresh snow, there should be a very nice coat of snow. Even if the deer mess it up again, it will still look a lot better. Following red squirrels has become so much easier with the NetView BirdFi camera and they've kindly sponsored this video. When we left Sweden and we were away for a couple of weeks, I had the camera set up in the garden and I had it set up just for a couple of hours in the morning so I could monitor the red squirrels. But you can have it on all day or just at night and that means you can follow certain species, maybe you just want to watch the nocturnal animals in your garden. Every day the birds, the red squirrels and the deer come to feed at it and I get a notification to my phone and it tells me what's at the camera. So it's really a great tool for watching the wildlife in your garden and I was so excited that NetView wanted to partner with me because I've been looking for cameras like this for a long time and I've got quite an ambitious project that I want to do and hopefully I can use these cameras in the summer, more on that later. 
but if you're also interested in watching the wildlife in your garden, head to the link in the description and you can order a NetView BirdFi camera. Today Juan and I are going to set up the jumping perches. I photographed squirrels jumping two years ago. I tried to set up perches last winter and it failed because the squirrels weren't active. And then actually this summer I realised that the squirrels had worked out how to climb the perch and not actually jump. Since we have so many squirrels in the garden, I thought I would have it set up in the garden and hopefully get some cool photos of squirrels jumping. A few days ago it got up to plus three Celsius and all the snow melted from the trees and also a lot of ice formed on the paths and the roads and now it's extremely slippery and I'm kind of scared of ice because three years ago I slipped on the ice and hit my head and I came home I slept for like three days and I had this massive headache and I couldn't really do much for a few days and I realized I had a mild concussion so now I'm kind of scared of ice and I try to be really careful when I walk. Okay, so we've created the prototype perches. There's a few things I want to change, but for tomorrow this will do. So this is the perch they will jump off from. I've got another log that I prefer, and I think the squirrels will prefer, but we've used this because we don't have long nails. So this is the jumping one, and this one, this one is the current landing one. So we've created this, these plastic bottles so they can't climb up this hopefully and this is the one that they will land onto and in this container will be hazelnuts and I think I will change this but for now this will work the squirrels can get used to it and start jumping
I've now made a few changes to the perches because obviously the squirrels worked out that they could just climb up the landing perch rather than jump to it. So I've now added a bucket and so far only Fika has worked out how to jump. The other squirrels seem to be a bit nervous by the bucket but I'm sure sooner or later they will start jumping and they'll be fine by the bucket and they won't be scared by the bucket and we won't have an issue with the bucket and I've actually managed a few photos of her that I'm quite pleased with but I don't think these are good enough for sharing or publishing anywhere so I definitely have a lot to work on but I think that's all for now I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports me and has subscribed because the other day I hit 100k which is crazy the day that this video goes live is exactly two years that I posted the squirrels and me and that video was a passion project I'd filmed squirrels for the past year and I made that video really for myself so I had this story in one video and I didn't expect it to get over 2 million views and it basically kick-started my YouTube career and it's since then I've been posting regularly and if you've been watching since then or more recently Thank you, thank you to my patrons who support me that extra step more and yeah, thank you. It's because of you watching my videos I can photograph squirrels. <laughs>